Hello, uh, welcome to RC Time. Uh, I'm Mark, and uh, we're going to build an airplane. Um, we're going to build an L39 Albatross kit. Um, it's from RBC Kits. I'm going to film it as I go through. I'm going to do different stages for you. Um, I'm going to even, you know, build in front of you for a little while here and there. Um, be rabbit and on about bits and pieces and problems I find and how I get over them, bits that are easy, bits that are hard, um, how the kit is in general. Uh, I've built quite a few different kits. Um, I've built two RBC ones before. Um, quite enjoyed building them. They're quite an easy build, I, as, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I've built some Brian Tyler. I've built a couple of Nyhouse kits. Um, so I've sort of got a little bit of experience on different different types of kits and how different manufacturers and different designers design and uh, build their airplanes. Um, like I say, RBC are not a, a hard kit to build. Um, I built their F8F and their Seahawk and both of them flew well. So hopefully this will fly okay as an L39. Um, should be a nice stable airplane. I'm hoping it's going to be all right because I fly off grass. So getting airplanes, uh, especially jets, conducted fans to fly off grass is uh, not the easiest thing in the world. Um, so we shall see. Um, I'll show you all the different stages as I go through. Um, I've gone to go against the grain because when you... Um, read the adverts for this particular kit um, they do state that um, to be flown with a MIDI fan system and uh, that it will not fly with an FMS or other makes of fan um, but I'm going to be putting a 90mm fan that came out of a Fumi that I had which was a free wing airplane so that will be interesting to see if it will get it off the ground but saying that, both the FAF and the Seahawk both stated the same on the plan and on the purchasing. And uh, yet yeah, both of them did fly and did take off with a free wing fan system in them. Uh, so that's the way I'm going. Uh, due, really due to the fact that I've got a free wing fan system sitting under the bench that needs a job. So we shall see how that go. Um, I say I'll get this box open in a minute and lay the stuff out on the. Hello, welcome back. Um, everything's out of the box. Um, as you can see, it's all laser cut, all the parts. Um, really nice. About 180 laser cut parts come in the kit. Um, this sheeting comes in the kit. Uh, strips. Uh, going around the fuselage they all come pre-cut in the kit they look reasonable bit of sand and kneaded on them as you go um, normal stuff you expect um, little hardwood pack uh, some spruce more spruce there dowling um, canopy plastic parts for the end of the wings for the um, nose cone so um, duct and sheets uh, they're always hard to do on the on these jets but that, that um, clear plastic I assume that will be for another bit of duct and sheet somewhere yeah just gonna give you a closer look um, so there you go yeah so like I say a canopy it's all nice it's all well protected in the box uh, uh, there for the end of the wing tips for the tanks that go on there as you can see it's all nicely laser cut the uh, wood seems good quality um, both of the kits I've had from them the wood's been good I have had kits before where the wood has not been good it's been a bit heavy on the sheeting and stuff and I've had to buy new sheeting but that happens sometimes yeah yeah that's all all nice loads and loads and loads of strip wood yeah, it's more laser cut balsa parts. Um, do get quite a bit of laser cut ply 
um, a thin ply and a nice light ply as well. So that should be quite a nice strong airplane when it's done. Um, it is a what I call a full size plan. Uh, but it's all on one sheet, so I shall have to do a bit of cutting. I'll just try and pull some of this out. Yeah, so the fuselage is there at the bottom. Uh, that don't look too bad. And there's the wing there. There's the retracts and the wheels. So we just have to study the plan when we cut it about make it to size so that we can work with it um, and uh, hopefully that'll be a good airplane and there's a little list and list and diagrams are all the parts to help you find the bits so there we go all right well with that next stage will be getting the bench cleared the plan laid out um, I think I'm going to build the wing first and uh, see how that goes. Uh, looks like it might be interesting because uh, on here for the retracts it's a bit unexplained. I don't know if you can see that. It shows the retract. I couldn't see. Let's see, get a bit more light on it. It didn't show any blocks or blocking or um, hardened points for the retrack. Um, normally I harden them up to what they recommend anyway. So if they have a, say a, a, usually a 12, 12 mil by 8 mil ply bearer through here, another one through here, these would be ply, and that would be ply. Um, I would normally increase the ply probably on the depth from six mil or eight mil to probably 14, 15 mil, um, or, you know, double it up, um, and often use some epoxy and really do the retract area well. Um, I don't know how you find it, but if your retracts pop out, usually the bear will rip out the side bits here. So if it's gonna happen, you might as well have it strong and try and stop it from happening. You know, and if it do happen, as the wings usually knackered and the airplane's knackered anyway, so you might as well strengthen it up and do your best to stop it happening. But the only way is good landings, and uh, that's not always as easy as it sounds. Even the best of pilots don't always have a good landing. But anyway, so that'll have to be sorted out. I'll show you as we go through. That shouldn't be a problem. Everything else looks sort of fairly good. Um, areas for the flaps and ailerons movements and that uh, they've shown a couple of different diagrams on how to do them um, I shall have a look at them as I get to them and um, um, don't like this method as it shows a gap in the wing at the top this method is nice but this bit here can be quite brittle and easy to break uh, this method takes obviously a lot longer to do. Um, this method is okay for flaps with underneath hinge. So that's not a bad method for the flap and probably the method I will use for the flap. Okay, I've got the plan cut and the wing part cut out and laid on the bench. Uh, found the uh, parts for the wing spars and ribs um, and then have to use this part of the plan if you can see that that gives you a drawing of all your sheets and all your parts i've used them and i've marked on there all the r numbers and that to make it a bit easier when i'm ready to get started which won't be long um, this isn't going to be a hard build as i say there what a class is intermediate um how the wing goes together unlike a say a brian taylor kit or or quite a few different types of kit is your spars are all in ply your ribs are all in ply and it is just like a jigsaw um 
because of that, there doesn't have to be a lot of um, worries on getting the incidence right and the shape of the wing right. It, it just comes right when it's locked together. Um, so, you, you know, um, with a Brian Taylor, you would have to have a very flat surface, um, lay it all out on a flat surface, and all the wing ribs will have a little clip on them to keep them at the right height on a flat surface so when you build the wing all the shape is into the to the wing and if you don't do that then you would have a wonky wing but with this this very unusual or unlikely uh, to end up with the a wonky wing or the instance wrong um, so it is a little bit simpler I will lay it out um, it does give you a measurement on the back edge here for when it's laying flat on the bench so that says here um, piece of three by six millimeter help former um, and what I will do is a sort of you you don't need to build it on the bench as such flat and glued and pinned to the bench um, so what I will do is as I put it together while glue is drying I'll lay it on the former with a little bit of weight on it and that will just help just in case anything warps or goes out of shape um, that should uh, give us a nice straight good wing then um, and uh, that will be alright so like I say so I got the plan out and got these all marked up found all my parts uh, worked out the retracks uh, they're actually at first it didn't look very descriptional on how the retracts would go in or how the formers would work but uh, that's going to be very easy to be honest it's uh, basically two plates two plates glued together glued within the wing all slotted so they'll be very good strong joints um, you know, I shall white glue them in and um, yeah and I'll, once they're in I shall have a look at them and then if I think they need any extra strengthening I shall put that in with scrap wood um, bit supply um, yeah other than that it's really looking like that's gonna be a reasonable easily one to build I reckon you could probably stick the wing and the frame of the fuselage together in a couple of days if you wanted to with no problem at all um, it might take us a bit longer um, I should keep you with me as I go along um, film when I can and uh, we'll see how it goes um, but that shouldn't be too bad yeah Hopefully it'll be a nice airplane.